परिवार में आपका स्वागत है आज हम नई सीरीज शुरू करेंगे अगस्त मास के लिए तो आज का जो ओम शांति वेलकम एवरीवन टू टॉपिक परिवार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक फॉर द न्यू सीरीज इज ट्रांसफॉर्म द एटमोस्फेयर विद वोल्कैनिक योगा तपस्या टूडे ऑगस्ट फर्स्ट टू एंड द टॉपिक इज लाइट हाउस एंड volcanic remembrance is a powerful stage of a lighthouse in might house for this especially experience being as an embodiment of knowledge and become powerful so that all the desperate souls wandering souls and souls calling out experience bliss peace and power through the pure and benevolent attitude of you elevated souls and the powerful atmosphere and now we will listen to moini didi ओम शांति ओम शांति द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट इज स्टार्टिंग द मंथ ऑफ इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई वट एवर बाबर शोड द मेथड एंड विद दैट मेथड वट एवर सक्सेस इज अचीव सो द मेथड एंड द सक्सेस बोथ we understood very well we also practiced it and many aspects of these points came into our awareness but one is that we make effort and then the second is that we actually make effort based on the right method so then whatever is the attainment that is received uh whatever is the stage that should be created that is possible only when we do it through the right method there is a lot of significance of the month of august it is also the month of dadi prakash mani ji it is also the month of the pure festival of raksha bandhan and these days the um month where you can become most elevated has also begun so we can say in a way that it is one of such one of such a festival jo bahut pavan hai which is very very pure so isliye and therefore the avyakti signals that we have received usme ye hai ki hame jo alag in that it is the point that we have to to volcanic yoga tapasya we understand in our intellect what is volcanic yoga tapasya in english we say volcanic which is jaise uh, jwala mein as if like volcano is emerging from the earth so lakshya kya hai so what is the aim the aim is to create an atmosphere such that whatever attainment the souls need they receive that you can see that when a child is born then the atmosphere of the home that atmosphere has a lot of influence on his life in relationships in um uh interactions where there is peace if there is birth of a child in such an atmosphere then the sanskars of the child will be similar but if there is conflict if there is opposition amongst each other 
if there is atmosphere of anger, then the child also has those sensations to the extent that even the plants, you know, they say you have to give them water with a lot of love, but it also needs sunshine, it needs uh, air, it needs all elements. So in the life of humans, there is a lot of influence of the atmosphere. Today, Baba has created these service centers and secondly whoever stays in household they also practice so the environment whether in logic way or through spiritual way in both ways there is an influence of it so the first day's homework is, practice is that we have to be lighthouse and nighthouse. You must have seen in the ocean, there is a lighthouse. So many waves, so many waves touch each other, strike each other. The light of the lighthouse keeps on revolving. And whoever are the wandering sailing ships or boats or whoever, everyone is, everyone gets directions from the lighthouse. From the lighthouse, they get to know whether we are going in the right direction or not. However, what is that light within us? Sabave is saying, it is the light of pure attitude, benevolent attitude. So it's very nice. Might house means that concentration of our mind. So the attitude is also pure. There is also concentration, the feelings of benevolence. So the power of all of these together it will be experienced by other souls. And so like they say, lighthouse and might house to create a powerful stage of a lighthouse and might house. And then your remembrance will be volcanic remembrance. Especially experience being as an embodiment of knowledge like embodiment of knowledge and become powerful. Pure and benevolent attitude and through the powerful atmosphere, many desperate souls or wandering souls or souls who are calling out you will be able to hear and they will feel as if they are receiving freedom as if they are being liberated from peacelessness from sorrow they will experience the vibrations of lighthouse might house their own stage may become powerful so that is why we will start this today also we will do some yoga we will go into a little bit more depth of this and we will sit in that stage to the extent there is purity and elevated bhavna to that extent from distance people will be able to experience the vibrations because the atmosphere will be created in such a way that from a distance people will be able to experience the vibration so i know that all of us have interact in this and this is also serving through the mind in a way wherever whenever we are sitting at whatever time 
Mm, yes, Rosa Baba said that not even a single thought should be wasted. So there is a lot of attention. Uh, not even a single thought. But then one is it shouldn't go waste. Then, but then what to do? So in that stage of lighthouse, my house, we will stabilize our thoughts so they will not go to waste, but they will also be used in a worthwhile way and service will also happen through that. So many attainments will be will be received and through the different RX signals that we will listen throughout the month. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Avek Murli Revision, 1969 Om Shanti, Avek Murli Revision from 1969 onwards. Heart to heart Avikdwani, Tariq hai, 20 May. Avik Murli, dated 20th of May, 1971. The stage of being a bestower and bestower of blessings. The saying that the world changes through one's vision applies to this time. No matter how Tamaguni and Rajoguni roles that come in front of you may be, their world, their state, and their attitude should change through your Satoguni vision. As you progress further, many souls will have this experience. In the memorials, it is shown that they were given a vision of the three worlds. This phrase of the present time, when they come in front of you, they will know through your vision, not just about the three worlds, but also about their complete life story. Just as at the beginning, at the time of establishment, there was not so much service through knowledge, but you used to take everyone beyond with just your glance. So too, at the end, you will not have a chance to do service through knowledge. Whatever happened in the beginning is what will happen through you at the end. Just as the seed of a tree is first visible, then, in between, it becomes merged, and at the end, that tree is visible in a practical form. So, too, the first foundation that was laid in you souls of the beginning, that service has to take place again at the end. Acha, now this is 2nd Murli, dated 24th of May, 1971. The essence is finishing a position by staying in your position. Have you become those who give peace and happiness to all souls? Because you are the long lost and now found the beloved children of the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. Whatever is the father's task is also the children's task. Those who are the benefactors of the world and who bring happiness to the world can never experience any waves of sorrow in their thoughts or even in their dreams. Are you creating such a stage or do you remain stable in this stage? Since you have taken a new birth, since you have become the long lost and now found beloved children of Bhagdada, you, children of the Almighty Authority, can never experience any waves of sorrow. 
There are the waves of sorrow when you do not have the awareness of your mighty authority, Father. That is, when you do not become his children in a practical form. When you are the children of the Father, the ocean of happiness, you remain ignorant of even knowing what waves of sorrow are. You continue to move along in waves of happiness. Why is there opposition from Maya? The solution to the opposition is very easy. Just remove one syllable from the word opposition and what does it become? Will there be any opposition when you stay in your position? If you remain stable in your own position, there will not be any opposition from Maya. Simply remove one syllable. To stay in your own position is to stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance. We will continue tomorrow. Cha Om Shanti.